Rawr. Rawr. Oh. Rawr. 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 Oh, hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be opening up some Jurassic Park figures uh, from the John Hammond collection. I almost couldn't say that word out there. Uh, first, we'll be opening up Dr. Alan Grant. Uh, love this figure. And Dr. Ian Malcolm. Love this figure as well. Well, I love these characters, I should say. I don't know about the figures. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, before we get to it, though, I'll show you the boxes. Here is Dr. Alan Grant. And you can see all the stuff with him. On the side, there's a picture of him uh, in the 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 character's... Uh, what the hell's the word? My goodness. Uh, his figure, not the actual Alan Grant. And on the back is the full figure right there. On the side is the symbol for the John Hammond collection in the, in the amber. The bottom, not too much to see, just a barcode and just some plain stuff there. And same thing for Dr. Ian Malcolm. You can see the figure in the front. Uh, his face on the side from the figure, and you see the Amber Collection barcode, and just random stuff there. So, uh, without further ado, I suppose we ought to open up these packages and get to the toys. Alright, so here is Dr. Alan Grant, the paleontologist. The bit of a curmudgeon, you know, not a fan of kids. But he grew to like the kids throughout the movie, and he saved their lives multiple times uh so yeah it's a it's a three and three quarter inch figure not very big as you can see uh i've got other three and three quarter inch figures that aren't from the hammond collection but i'm hoping they they scale very well together anyways uh as you can see he's got his his hat on here with his sunglasses you know that was like the that was the the look that he had when they first came to the island i believe he had the, the sunglasses on and whatnot looking all cool and all all clean still, his uh, shirt isn't covered in mud and crap. Uh, so he's got good, uh, he's got a ball joint here, I think it is. No, no, sorry, it's just a butterfly joint here. A butterfly joint there and a ball joint, uh, butterfly at the shoulder. Uh, I got double jointed knees, which is something my other little figures don't have for the Jurassic Park line. Um, but yeah, he's pretty basic, not too crazy looking. Uh, his face is... Again, not amazing or anything for a three and three quarter inch. It does the job. It looks kind of like him from the movie anyways. And uh, what else he comes with is, comes with his hand with the Velociraptor claw that he's always flaunting in the movie. And he tosses it aside once all the chaos starts. I don't know why this hand seems to have no paint on it. I don't, is he wearing a glove? Did he wear a glove at one point? I don't know what is going on. I think they forgot to paint this, this hand. So needless to say, I probably won't be using this hand. It comes with two gripping hands anyways. So I'm not sure what that other hand was for regardless. And then if you want, there's another hand, or sorry, another head that doesn't have the hat or the sunglasses on it. Looks, I think this one looks a little more like, uh, sorry, Alan Grant. And then there's also a baby velociraptor over here. That he gets to hold. Remember when it's born? It comes out of the egg. Oh, it's so cute. It's like, they have velociraptors. And then uh, the this is the flare that he lights up and throws away to distract the T-Rex so he can go help the kids. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, Ian Mackin lights his own flare and then kind of makes things worse. But, yeah, that's, that's Alan Grant. Pretty simple, pretty basic figure. Next up, we will do Dr. Ian Malcolm. And here we have Dr. Ian Malcolm. So this is uh, probably people's fan favorite of the of the characters. You know, Jeff Goldblum just uh, does a terrific job. He's he's kind of comedic as well in, in his role. He wasn't meant to be uh, a superhero hero character or anything like that, especially when he grabs his flair and tries to be the hero, and then he just ends up getting kind of chewed up a little bit and beat up and then uh he's in the back of the jeep he's must go faster that's probably one of the classic lines from the movie uh one thing that i like about this figure it doesn't come with as many things it doesn't have an extra head 
It doesn't have a dinosaur with it. it comes with these two arms. As you can see, they're like uh, the sleeves are pulled up for these arms. So what you can do is actually take off his jacket and then you can have the classic Ian Malcolm laying there with his shirt wide open look, which is pretty cool. And I like how this jacket is really flexible too. It uh, should be easy to, to take off once you take the arms off and pull it off. But, uh, you know, it, as far as Ian Malcolm goes, I'd say it kind of looks like Jeff Goldblum. I mean, not, not entirely, but it, it'll do the trick. It fits in with the rest of my figures, I suppose, as far as, uh, as looks go. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's Ian Malcolm. And that was Alan Grant before that. Uh, next up, I'll just kind of compare to some other figures that I have that are around the same size. And here I have a lineup of characters from the movie, uh, that these aren't Hammond collection, except for these two right here. They're the only Hammond collection ones, but they scale quite well. Like you can see Ellie Sattler is about the same size as Alan Grant, maybe slightly shorter. And then Dennis Nedry is even shorter than her, which... I think is accurate to the movie. I honestly don't remember how much smaller he is. Um, and then you can see John Hammond is, is smaller than Ian Malcolm. And his two grandkids, Alex and Timmy, they're smaller as well. They progress downwards, as you can see. Another character I have is uh, Mr. Arnold, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character. I'll put him in the back here. He's on a, he's on a bit of a stand because he's got, this is the, I think it's the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive where he's shutting down the power grid. Uh, which is kind of cool because he does this. No, 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 that's crazy. You're out of your mind. He's absolutely out of his mind. <laughs> His whole bunch of quotes. <laughs> and then the dinosaur comes in and attacks him. Rawr! Um, his arm does it does detach here too. If you didn't know that, it detaches right there and you can have a bloody arm. But I'm not going to pose him that way. I'm going to have him alive like I have all my other characters still alive. And uh, for other comparisons, I guess you could put a, a Velociraptor. In here, oh, I want to put it maybe behind a little bit. Velociraptors are a lot taller, I think, in the toy department. I don't know, maybe they're maybe they're this big in the movies too, but they seem a little bit taller in the movie, uh, in the games, oh, the game, the toys. Uh, I can't talk. See, it looks like if it was standing straight up, it'd probably be like eight feet tall. Right here, it's like probably six and a half feet. I'll put that in the back, kind of attacking Mr. Arnold. And then uh, the Dilophosaurus, bring him in coming from this way, because this is the guy that gets it, Dennis Nedry. Yeah. Uh, he comes in a pack with Dennis Nedry, as well as some car, uh, the Jeep as well. Uh, another one that I feel like is maybe a little bit taller as a toy than it is in the actual movies. Maybe even in real life. I'm not too sure how tall it is in real life. But you can see I got spitting. And uh, it compares... With the other characters pretty well. Let's see, can you understand? Yeah, not the best. Standing. And then uh, here's the T-Rex. The big boy. The Mac Daddy of them all. Uh, it's a cool looking figure. I do like his chomping action that he has. Rawr. Uh, they do have a newer one in the Hammond collection that has a lot more articulation and looks a little more realistic. But, you know, I'm happy with what I have. I don't need every single figure. And just for the heck of it, let's get some cars in here. Let's roll this guy through, as you can see. And they kind of scale quite well together, I'd say, all the characters. Put that in the back there. Well, maybe I'll get this guy kind of out of the way. And then the Jeep as well. Roll on through. Dennis Nedry's escape Jeep that he never quite escaped with. Hmm. But yeah, that is all the things that I have. I do have a couple more Velociraptors, but once you've seen one Velociraptor, you've basically seen them all. You don't need them all in here. Uh, but I am I might be able to continue this collection. Maybe they'll have uh, the, I forget the lawyer's name, because they do have the lawyer on the toilet. That was also a Comic-Con exclusive. I don't know if I need him. If he happens to show up somewhere, maybe I'll get him. As well as Muldoon, the, the hunter guy that... Tells you that they attack from the sides and, or isn't he? No, he's, what does he say? Ah, I'm thinking about uh, Alan Grant's quote, but regardless, he's the one that knows how they react and it's his clever girl before he dies. Anywho, I'm just kind of rambling here, so we're going to stop this video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Hope everybody has a good time. Bye-bye.